everyone, it's Leanne, and I'm just looking to see that my microphone is on. I've uh, actually recorded a bunch of stuff today, so I um, wanted to make sure that I wasn't on mute. <laughs> anyway, um, there's, there's a huge market out there for personal development, and something that a lot of people in the person, personal development crowd do is um, they try to change limiting beliefs. So they have this understanding that we have limiting beliefs, maybe negative self-esteem beliefs, different things that keep us from acting fully as who we are, from, from reaching our full potential. And a lot of these people will try to, to almost forcefully change beliefs. They'll, they'll do visualizations where they say, well, you know, see this changing into this. They'll do positive affirmations. And I've even listened to positive affirmation uh, videos and and audios over and over and over again. But here's the thing: uh, it's kind of, it's kind of like that guy on Saturday Night Live way long ago. I don't know if you if you've ever watched it, but back when I was a lot younger, <laughs> I can't even think of the year. Um, there was this guy that that would stand in front of the mirror, and uh, I'm sorry, I forget actors' names. It's I've actually probably never even knew it. Uh, but he would stand in front of the mirror, and this was a skit, and he would say, "I'm good enough." Um, and, or he'd say a few things, and he'd say, "Um, good enough." And gosh darn it, people like me. And, and that was like the 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 idea. Like the funny thing about the skit is that obviously the guy wasn't uh, <laughs> wasn't in his power. I guess I can say. Uh, so so this is the thing. Uh, these things can help. They can shift your mindset a little bit. And for some people, they work. But for the most part, you can't get rid of a limiting belief by forcing it to change, by, by changing it to something else, what you wanna do is completely eliminate it, get rid of it. How do you do that? Well, there are different methods, but the easiest method I know is the LBP, the Leftical Belief Process that, that I've studied and that I practice and that I've used on myself and that I've used on other people as well to help them release these things. Because what happens is, if you have to tell yourself over and over again, I'm good enough, I'm good enough, people love me, do you really believe that? Just the fact of <laughs> sitting there in front of the mirror and, and looking in your own eyes and saying that to yourself kind of proves that you don't feel that way, that you feel the opposite. And it almost creates a, a tension inside of you and, and it makes you feel even more opposite, right? There's like that resistance and you push back. When you don't have a limiting belief, there's no need to say the opposite because you just don't have it. And so what does that feel like? Well, if you have the belief, I'm not good enough, and you get rid of it, all of a sudden, when someone says something that used to upset you because it made you feel bad, it doesn't anymore, and you feel fine. And when you have a belief like, um, like I can't meet women, or <laughs> something like that, women don't like me, and, and you change that and you get rid of it, all of a sudden, you open yourself up, and you don't have to repeat affirmations about how how good you are and how beautiful you are and how women like you because you don't need that. You don't have that feeling. And if a woman rejects you, you don't feel like, oh, I'm just not good enough for this woman. You just think, well, she just didn't like me, but there's another one very pretty lady over there. Right? So lots of, of, of <laughs> different ways to that people try in the personal development niche to get rid of beliefs. But the only way to really change them is to just get rid of them so you don't want to replace them you don't want to layer stuff on top of them you just want to eliminate them and uh, if you have any questions about that process leave me a comment below because i'm going to be recording a lot more videos about it and if you've been watching my videos then you know that i've got a funnel coming up I actually put together my facebook page i've got the the funnel put up and today i spent some time with a coach who is an expert at facebook marketing and so in the next few weeks here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get this tiny little page on Facebook, this brand new page, and I'm gonna build it to tens of thousands of likes or more, and I'm gonna convert that to leads and to sales into my business, and I'm gonna share with you how I do that as I go through the process. So if you're interested in learning a little bit more about Facebook marketing, because I personally, I've been marketing for five years online, and marketing for five years period, I started online. And I have avoided Facebook like the plague. I don't know why, but I decided that now is the time to go into it. For whatever reason, I felt like Facebook was the place for me to connect with people. And so I took a step, grabbed a coach, learned, some, learned a lot of new stuff today, 
and I'm gonna put it into effect and again I'm gonna share with you the stuff that works and um, and if you're interested in making it work for yourself I'd love for you to see that and of course my funnel has everything to do with releasing your limiting beliefs so if you're interested in that you might might want to look at the funnel for for two reasons one to learn how and, and two to free your mind and, and free yourself and create new possibilities anyway I'll give you more information as that as that moves along and uh, I will see you in tomorrow's video and uh, remember if there's anything that you want to hear about other than what I'm sharing with you uh, I'm happy to teach you just about anything about marketing so uh, give it a shot leave a comment below and uh, if you uh, if you can't log in for whatever reason if you if, if you're unable to log in to leave a comment then just create an account for yourself I'll leave a little um, a little link you can create an account with uh, Empower and Arc. This is the system that I'm using. I think you might need an account to do that. Um, it doesn't have to be a paid account. You can you can put together. Uh, you can actually log in without paying. You just kind of start the setup and then stop, and then you'll be able to log in and leave a comment and let me know what you want to see. All right. Love you all, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye bye.